So the other time when we were concentrating on the, the issue online, Barry Darkman versus Bob Brisky and so many other matters, Jis Lover, I don't know if you guys are still hearing much about Jis Lover. Well, Jis Lover decided to do an investigation on their own and uh, they released the names of Nigeria gay celebrities. Gays. So, there is a list on their Instagram page, which I'm going to read out. And uh, it, lo it, it looks like the list they're comprised of all the Nigeria celebrities, the male celebrities, almost all. I don't know how they did their investigation, but I can't say one thing about this lover. They are gradually losing their credibility. This lover used to be a thing that people will look at and be like, uh -huh. it seems like some of their some of their investigation are true. But now people are just focused on VDM now. So this lover know they make sense again at all for people's eyes. This lover know they make sense again. Well, let me just read some of the list. This list he wrote he said Border Boy, Kiss Daniel, Fraud, Odumeji. Now, flavor be him partner. Fast, Dele Momodu, Mufi Duncan, Brian Okwara, Pokoli, all of Lagos. He will put VDM, Berry Dark Man, Vine Ulugu, Corredo Bello, J. Martins, Shea, Awolowo, Ali Sani, Peter, AJ Bimi, Jerry Blossom. Jubri of Lagos. That is one list too. If you can't mention sure all those things, kids, Daniel fraud. Daily Momo, do kids, Daniel get wife now. Kids, Daniel get wife now. Kids, Daniel get wife. Very dark man. We don't see her with many, 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 many girls before. Pukuli, all of Lagos. Bonner boy. Ha! Wala deo. J. Mantis. <laughs> the other list he wrote, he said, uh, Peterson, Okopi, Otis, even Yuel Odoche. <laughs> he put Yuel Odoche, he put Casey, he, he put uh, Obi Kubana, ah, Toby Bakare. Oh, oh, just love about all the mess up. Oh. Then he put uh, Elvis, then uh, Rochas, then who he gets on this list? Mr. Macaroni, that uh, comedian. Desmond Elliott, he put two. <laughs> to the head not the Ah uh -uh. Baba Ginda, Timmy Frank, Ogbona. Abanda, this lover, you have lost total your credibility. Totally. Abba, this lover used to be a team. Ah, you have, you should retire. Ah, you go put Ibuka. How you go pee to be Ubi Kubana. According to this lover, he said those men are deceiving their wives. That they are not into women. They are into men. And there is an evidence to read. But all those kind of things are really, really hard to believe now. You wrote every man, almost every man on Nigeria entertainment. That means the whole entertainment industry for Nigeria. Na, na, na gay they be, all the men. Then the other one he wrote, he said, Timi, Timini. <laughs> the Timini me you know. Don Jazzy. <laughs> he put ya ya belo, put a tick. <laughs> he no put Peter Obi. He no put Peter Obi. He put the bunch. He put Osh Poppy. He put flavor. He put Peter Okoli. Hey, hey yeah. Mofa he put. <laughs> Neo. Zinc. I just I'm just talking about the people that I actually know I can uh, recognize on the list. M I, you me, A Y. Ah, ah. 
this law, but you need to show your face so, so that you will prove how this list still be true. Master, so that you will prove how this list still be true. Come on, man. Uh -huh. Now, wow. This lover need to retire. <laughs> so, do you believe those names? This this uh, blog mentioned say it's actually true that those women are gays. They are just deceiving the, the one that are married or the one that are in a relationship. They are just deceiving them, <laughs> deceiving the women. Neo, D. Latif, Adi, Miji, Adi, Di Miji, Adi, Di Miji. Uh uh. I mean, not everybody be that one now. Huh? You for add Tunubu, add whiskey, add the uh, you add Bonaboy, add uh, David O join, add Banky W, add the portable, add all of them. Toss you all blue one, the deceive ah, banner. Well, this lover has lost total the credibility. Nah, there is nothing left again. Absolutely nothing left. If this list uh, just finally destroy uh, its reputation, no, this list finally destroy its reputation. Come on, man. Blogging shouldn't be a thing of uh, just messing with people. Blogging should be a thing of you no know, bringing out facts, you no know, doing some just reacting to some certain things. But you bringing this will not be blog again. No, you are investigative blog. You the investigate matter, then bring them out. The difference between investigative blog and the uh, ordinary people may just blog on, uh, on the reaction, reaction blog, like the one that do reaction. But this one investigative blog, now you just start with now. You know, we'll just investigate and just bring all kind of lie now. At least there should be a means of uh, trust in you now. Now you don't lost all the trust. Not bad. Not bad. I want for you. Well, it might be, it might even surprise you that many Nigerians even will believe themselves. But that being said, you know, I said I'm going to discuss about fraud. Why I believe if we underlook some certain things in our system, eh, we are just going to like get lost. Like, we say, okay, fraudsters are not that important. They are not our problem. Then we start going to the higher something. See, fraud is part of our problem in this country. And it's, it's like one of the major issues here. Because fraudsters will teach politicians on how to siphon money, on how to hide money. Don't be all those peasant, peasant scammers me they see you. We are talking about the real core one, the real strong scammers. Eh? The real strong scammers. Maybe the hair politicians see the hide money. There was one there was this guy, I don't know this guy. I just came, I just come across his video that and uh, I love what he said concerning the issue on the uh, fraud. I'm going to play the video guys for you so that you will just gain one or two knowledge from him. Guess this money he's spending, the person start gathering influence. If you look around you, most of the people that are ruling us today, some of them are either drug paddlers, some of them are either drug, uh, they are, most of them are, in fact, inclined uh, into fraud. So when they become rich, they don't already know how to manage money. Or they have in mind the same thing that brought them up there, which is through the Yahoo defrauding other people. They will start defrauding the nation because it is, has been a pattern, a design, Okay, that's why you see everybody around you, at least eighty percent of a young, the younger generation, all are doing Yahoo, and these same people are the leaders of tomorrow. So when they get there, basically you know anybody that has money can be able to buy people up and become a politician, and you know at the end, entire end the person become a ruler. What has this person learned about managing funds? What the person already know is how to go to your biggest hotel to sleep with the, in fact, the most expensive, um, you know, prostitutes to travel around the world to buy expensive clothes and knows, knows nothing about investing because he didn't even work for the money. So if he has access to the 
the country treasury. He will empty it for his personal gain. Thank you. If you listen well to that guy, you will understand the reason why. No matter how little the thing is, uh, is our problem. Because that thing you will see, see the very little is not our problem. That thing will grow to become a problem to you tomorrow. Like what he said about those rosters, about those drugs, sort of made the smoke in move for street. Now they later turn out to be Agbero. Now they later come turn out to be uh, the chairman of one Agbero community or one park. You understand? And then they don't even know nothing to siphon money now they don't savvy. Frost as uncle, they will get money, acquire popularity later. They will go become your senator or your governor. They will go become your senator. That person will say, no, be a problem, be a problem. It will turn out to be your problem because the only thing they care about is making money. Making money and buying expensive things, sexy stuff. You understand? That's what they care about. The honest people in our midst, eh? do not have the mindset to do fraud or to do those illegal business to acquire wealth so that they cannot become a governor or a senator. My people may get mind to make money, put their hand in dirty, dirty stuff, and then they become your governor. I'm not saying all of them are bad though, but I'm just saying, if you ignore them and you say it's not your problem, it will come become your problem tomorrow. So, we have to be, we have to talk, we have to do everything. The scammers, the yaw boys, whatever you call it, those many, many, many things you think they are not a problem, they will grow. They will grow to be your problem later.